All right, here we go. We're going to do a quick tutorial on Multisim. We are just going to do a quick overview of the actual program itself. Nothing too crazy at this juncture. So we'll just get familiar with some of the basic functions. The next tutorial will be a uh, tutorial on using basic meters, and then we'll have an advanced meter tutorial after that. Okay. So when you open up tutorial, or sorry, when you open up um, Multisim, uh, you'll be opening it from the Apps Anywhere program at Georgian College, and we'll walk you through that. Or you may run it from your educational trial version or your educational version from your home computer, depending on how the course is being run. When you open it up, it should look like this, the interface. And uh, I'm going to you know, show you a couple of tips for... Um, for uh, cleaning up how it looks and making it easier to work with. You're going to notice there's a box on the side over here. It's called Design Toolbox. I'm going to close that. It's going to free up some space. Also on the bottom of the, of the program window, there's another box. I'm going to close it. Okay, now we just have uh, our wiring sheet. Um, and uh, our tools, our, our upper our toolbar, upper toolbar, and then our meter bar on, on, on the right. Now, I'm going to center the wiring sheet. Now, what I'm, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. What I'm going to do, and this is very useful, you, you'll, you'll need to know how to do this. I'm pushing down on the center wheel of my mouse, and I'm moving it. So I'm panning. I'm, I'm going into the center of, of the wiring sheet. I'm grabbing it, and I'm moving it over. Okay, so that's, uh, that's panning. If you want to zoom, there's a zoom bar up top here. You can zoom in, zoom out, okay? Zoom area. Um, if I click zoom in, I can zoom in. Now, it's very, very useful to zoom in. So often what I see, I'll see a student working on a circuit that they're zoomed out and they're trying to do some measurements or move a wire from a component. And it's very difficult because they, they, they can't seem to you know, grab, click, drag, or, you know, highlight a portion of the circuit and delete it. So make sure you zoom in and you're, and you're working uh, where you need to, okay, uh, in more detail. Um, also, if you do not have uh, a wheel mouse, okay, you've got these bars on the side here for, for panning. All right, if I zoom in a little bit more, clicking on the, on the zoom button, I have, a, I have a, a bar, a slider bar for panning. Down below, it's a little. I, I find it a little, little slower, a little bit more cumbersome. I just, I love having that, the scroll mouse for, for scrolling in and out, moving my circuit around, and so on. Okay. Now, what you're going to notice is, um, we have a grid. We have grid dots. Now, you can, you can leave those in, or you can take them out. Um, I prefer not to have them. So, if I go up to where it says View, and I, I go down to grid and I uncheck that I have a nice clean wiring sheet now when you place components and when you insert your wiring you will you will be what snapping to the grid okay so it will it will follow snap so that, you know you don't have to worry about your components not lining up and having difficulty connecting your wires to the leads okay now what we'll do is I'll show you some of the tools that you're going to be using uh, this program uh, it can be used as a very basic uh, measuring and circuit analysis tool. Uh, it can be used as an advanced tool for designing circuits with, you know, actual manufacturer's part numbers and specifications to design actual circuits that may be uh, moved into production. Okay, uh, but we're going to just use the basic functions of the program to learn um, how electronic and electrical circuits work uh, for us electrical trades. Now, what we need to get a toolbar up there. It's called a virtual toolbar. So I'm going to take my mouse. I'm going to put it up on the gray area of the upper toolbar here. I'm going to click on it, right click on it. And after I right click, I have all these options. I can add all kinds of different components and tools. I'm going to go down to the one that says virtual. Now what virtual is, so I'm going to check that virtual tool it's going to come up here those are just generic electronic and electrical components and power supplies and basic loads that we can use to build 
basic circuits and we don't have to worry about specific circuit requirements okay such as you know voltages and currents and things like that as far as ratings go now we can put in rated virtual components and they will they will um they will they will fail if you don't apply them properly for example if you put a, a, a resistor in a circuit and the resistor is only rated for half a watt and it's it's going to uh, have a one one watt of power delivered across it um, it's going to burn out and that's what these are okay so we may work with those okay so there's your virtual resistor rated resistor that you have to use it according to the rating of the actual component okay so what I'll do is I'm just going to put a quick circuit together and show you the simulation and in the next video I'll show you how to do some basic measurements okay so as I said you're going to be using these virtual components okay um, the other option I should show you this because we you need to know that this is available if I go over to place on the left here and I check component it's going to open up and you're going to have all kinds of different groups or families of components okay and they all have a social associated rather manufacturers part numbers so you can use this for some advanced circuitry if you want if you want to build some some circuits you get a plan for a low amplifier or power supply or you name it um, you can uh, you can you can put those together okay there's your full wave bridge it'll have different current and voltage ratings you can search those part numbers online, get the spec, or you may be able to read about them in uh, in, in the multi-sim information window here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to close that. So back over to our virtual components. I'm going to start by putting a power supply in. Okay, so over under power source family, you have AC power, DC power. I'm just going to click on DC power. Okay, and I'm going to drop that DC power supply in. Uh, the default is 12 volts in this case. If I double click on that battery symbol, I can change it to any voltage I want. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to the miscellaneous family over here, right beside power supplies, and I'm going to place a lamp. So I'm going to get a lamp, put it in here. I'm not going to put a switch or a fuse at this point. I just want to show you how to do the wiring connections and move things around. Now, I want my lamp leads to be parallel with my battery posts or, or battery leads. So I'm going to right click on it. And if you want to flip or rotate, we can do that by selecting the right click and then choose the operation that you want. I want to rotate 90 degrees. So I rotate at 90 degrees. Also, I want to line it up with the power supply. I'll just slide it down a bit and it's lined up. Okay, so I have a I have a power supply and I have a load. Now I need conductors. So if you take your mouse, I'm going to zoom in. Okay. You take your mouse and you put it over the battery post, the positive post. You'll get a cursor. You click on it. I'm going to go up. Okay. And instead of going across, straight across, I'm just going to go up a bit. Give myself some room to work. I'm going to click. I'm going to go over. I'm going to line up with that lead on the lamp. Click again connect okay and then i'm going to do the uh the negative the zero volt i'm going to go down uh about this how about the same distance i'm going to click i'm still in wiring mode and click on the negative side there we go it's all hooked up now up here we have a run function which allows us to simulate the circuit and make measurements okay voltage current power frequency and so on we can use the oscilloscopes also um, the only issue with simulating is the circuit needs to have a ground point okay now on a dc circuit such as an automotive application the actual negative battery terminal is bonded to the chassis of the vehicle so what we'll do is we'll ground the negative post so where you will find the ground is back up in the power supply family. So I'm going to go back up to the power supply family, activate the drop down box, and click on place ground. Now I have it. I'm going to drop it on that wire, and it's attached. Okay. Now 
We know that we have a positive polarity and a negative polarity, two different color conductors on a battery in a vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the conductor that's joined to the negative terminal and I'm going to select a different net color. I'm going to choose black. Okay. And we, there we have our polarity markings on, on our, on our conductor. Now I'm going to run the circuit and just keep in mind, you'll have to understand that when we run in simula simulation mode, it's not in real time. There's a slight lag and you're going to notice it takes uh, a few seconds for the bulb to start up. Okay. And if you look down in the lower right here, you're going to see that it's, we're only up to one second. Okay. Now all of your electrical quantities, current, voltage, resistance, power, they will all represent actual circuit values. Okay. If it's a circuit that has a capacitor in it, the circuit will have to, it will take however long it takes for the capacitor to charge the full value before the expected readings um, would uh, would be noted on the, on the instruments. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It shouldn't affect anything that we're doing. Now, notice how we're running. Um, you can only run one circuit at a time. So down, I'm going to take my mouse down to where it says multi-sim setup overview tutorial. If you had two or three other tabs open here, you can only simulate one at a time. You can have as many files open as you want, but again, you can only run one. I, I often, uh, uh, I run, I, I'm often asked by uh, students why they can't run a circuit. It's that the, the button is grayed out and that's because they have more than one circuit open and they might have another one running. Okay. So now I'm going to stop it. And I want to show you if you want to draw another circuit or you want to draw three or four different circuits on the, on the same wiring sheet, I want to show you how to move it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here, get a hold, I'm going to drag all of my components on that circuit. I'm going to move it over here to the left, out of the way. Also, you may want to, the same circuit, but you want to just change the values. If I right click, copy, and then right click, paste, I can paste that circuit over and over. And I can also use Control V on the keyboard, same thing. Okay, if I want to delete a component, I just select it and delete it. Select it and delete it. Highlight it and delete it. I can highlight and delete the circuit. Okay, if you make a mistake, you have an undo button. It's up here. Okay, also, if I, I'm going to delete this again, Control Z on your keyboard works in all Windows programs for undo. Okay, if I hit Control Z, undo. All right, keep that in mind. Um, over on the right hand side, there's, there's a vertical toolbar and that's where we're going to be working with meters. We're going to be selecting meters. The first meter is a multimeter. Uh, there's a function generator in there. I don't believe we use that one in, in this program. There's a watt meter, oscilloscope, four channel. We'll be using that. Uh, there's a frequency counter. And then there's an Agilent multimeter in there and a current clamp that we'll be using. So we're going to be moving on to that next. So you can refer back to this uh, tutorial for your basic setup and uh, just those tips that I talked about. And um, hopefully uh, that will be helpful for you. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with you in the next video.